It's July 15th. It's time for Watcher Weekly. Welcome to Watcher Weekly, presented by Breather, a show where we kick back, chat, and answer your guys' questions to the best of our ability. That's true. That's true. <laughs> hey guys, Simmons is high. Oh, you got your little kitty cat out. Ah. You know what? I'm feeling <laughs> weird today, man. How you guys doing? Chilling out, man. Chilling out. Later on, we got a some roast tweets coming up. That's gonna be devastating. But first, it's chill time. <laughs> I can see your tiny Shane again. Did that bit work la uh, well last week, Stephen? I, I don't I know. I, I can do it again. Do you want me to do it again? No, I, you did it already. Wait, no, I'll <laughs> do it again, though. I'll <laughs> do it again. Wait, I can't see right, you guys. Right, Simba, watch this bit. Oh. Simba, check out the bit. Oh! <laughs> I do love it, yeah. I do love it. It delights me every Little time. Shane, it's my dream. So I requested people draw me small. Put me in a shoe. Do you think we'll get some in the next week? I think week? we'll get Let's... some, yeah. Oh, we'll I'm so some. excited! Let's see a couple of them right now. Let's take a look. Wow, I was so small. Your, your dreams come true. Simba, do you like them? Wait, let me let me show Simba that art. This is enough cat Simba. content. No, it's okay. never enough cat content. It's too much. Get him out of here. He's really milking it. Look at his cold, dead eyes. Should we? Should we just? You know what? Should we just get right out of the chill zone here? <laughs> what? What's your beef with the chill zone? Well, we're all out of whack here. With Shane, you. Well, Ryan know. said he wanted to leave the chill zone. Well, you usually do the thing where you're like, we're a watcher, we're a watcher, Patreon.com slash watcher, Facebook.com slash watcher, entertainment, YouTube.com slash watcher podcast. Yeah. Well, Steven, you nailed it that time. You so just nailed it. You it. nailed yeah. it. Why don't we just do it? Yeah, we'll, we'll just use that. That that was great. You know what, Shane, you replaced. You replaced. Steven is now going to do it every episode. Do I have to audition again to get it back? Do I have to submit you, a self-tape? <laughs> self Please don't. I'll submit a self-tape for next week. And thank we'll you, see thank you, thank you. We've made our decision. No, no, no. Okay. I'll do it. No, I'll thank submit you, it. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thanks. Uh, oh, hey, you know, we had an episode of uh, uh, Weird Wonderful go up last week. The season premiere. Ryan, speaking of which, do you happen to have your trophy? Oh, shh. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, You're not. You're not. We'll go all the way out to his car. It was a lot of fun. Um, More fun for some people than others. Yeah, I really, I mean, I had Ryan uh, during our timed uh, qualifying laps. Uh, it went downhill for me. I'm not a... I'm not a competitive person by nature, but I am capable of feeling sad when you lose to such a degree that it is laughable. Uh-huh. But uh, you know what? I had fun. This guy had some fun. Just bang, race around the track. It was good. Wait, oh. Ryan, let me see that. It's pretty good. Is that a gold plated? It's gold. It's um, not plated. It's solid gold. It's solid gold. Wow. They only give this to you in them. I believe they call it the winner circle. Yeah, that is what they call it. I was not in that circle. No. This is a theme that runs through the season. Uh, yeah. Anytime there's a competition of any kind. There is a different vibe to some of the episodes this season. They were going to have a big world championship of race car drivers. Oh, and we were yeah. going to talk with the community and learn more about the uh, the little fun little racing community. And then it got canceled because we shot most of these right before the pandemic kicked in. But we still had a good time. We did have a good time. And it's a very fun season. Hey, hey Shane, uh, did, is there merch for Weird Wonderful World? Oh, yes, there is, Ryan. There's some new shirts. I don't know what this bit it. Uh, go to watcherstore.com. They've got little cartoon versions of you and me standing in the wilderness with our mustaches. Wait, does little Shane know about the Watcher merch? <gasps> oh, me? <laughs> yeah, you. Do you know about the new Watcher merch? Watcher merch? I ain't heard nothing about it. Well, now you know. It's at the store. Oh, I head on over there on my phone. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, he has a giant phone, too. <laughs> Well, I think that's our cue to move it out along. This has been the chill zone. <laughs> Next up, uh, before we get into que questions, we got a sponsor this week. Before we dive into the questions, we'd like to thank our sponsor for this episode, Audible. It's an audiobook service that you can get a free trial on by visiting audible.com slash watcher or texting watcher to 500 500. In addition to audiobooks, they have podcasts, guided wellness programs, theatrical performances, A-list comedy, as well as exclusive Audible originals that you won't find anywhere else. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot. That's a lot That's of a lot. stuff. Some audiobooks that I'm listening to right now that I recommend are How to Be Anti-Racist and White Fragility. Ooh, White Fragility. Shane, what's that? What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. <laughs> Move on. Continue, Stephen. <laughs> 
Audible is also going to be supporting people in this new normal that we're living in. They actually have added a new site called stories.audible.com that you can access free stories to listen to that have been handpicked by their staff. They also have audible.com slash sleep, which is a program that helps you to find collections that help you relax and go to bed at night. I like that. I like catching my Z's to the sound of a calming voice. I always love the meditation ones. Yeah, they're like, you're a cloud now. You're a cloud. And I'm like, yeah, I am. Honk shoe. <laughs> Head on over to audible.com slash watcher or text watcher to 500, 500 and you get a free trial. Free. Do it. Free, I said. Yes. You heard me right. F-R-E-E. -E. <laughs> uh, and thank you to Audible for sponsoring our episode this week. Yeah. Uh, give it a shot. You'll love it. Questions. Questions now. These have been submitted by you. They're from the uh, C tab. They're from Patreon. We'll be answering more of these on patreon.com slash watcher. Oh, well, let's start out with a question from Sienna Parr. For everyone, does every day blend together or do y'all have interesting things to do at home so life isn't boring? Every day sort of blends God together. So hard to keep this on the shoulder. Yeah, life is not thrilling right now. Luckily, you know, I live mm. with my girlfriend, Sarah, and we get along wonderfully and are having a good time during pandemic to the best of our ability. We hang out on the porch. We go for little walks. We have a wonderful little kitty cat. We try to watch some movies, watch some television. Things are really spiking here in California. So certainly not taking any chances lately. It's certainly, yes, the days do blend together. There's not a lot of variety in the days. No. Not variety. But life is never really boring. I mean, each day prov provides a new no. challenge. I have been uh, keeping life interesting by also taking walks. I'll shoot some hoops in my in the park over there. Don't worry, there's nobody out there. I've been also spending time with my family, which has been really nice. Um, even though we're in kind of a crazy time. The days are definitely blending together. No, yeah, we're, me and Mari, I'm quarantining with my girlfriend. We're watching movies and we're doing this thing where I will pick a movie that she hasn't seen or a movie that I would like her to watch and then we'll watch that and then she'll pick a movie that I haven't seen or that she wants to watch and we'll watch that and we just kind of alternate. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty Warzone. Nice, Getting better dude. at that. Yeah, um, hell yeah. Some good stuff over there, a lot of fun. Uh, that's a good way to stay connected with my friends because we have to work as a team to exit the war zone. Have you played more um, with Matty, Matty Rial? I played with Matt Rial once or twice after, and I played with Shade one time and he uh, quit mid game. It was too bro -y. Back. It was too bro -y. Never, Never came back. <laughs> it reminded me of playing basketball in high school. Basketball? Fun. I've seen I've seen you out on the b-ball court, Steven. Oh, you also You've turned into a monster. You've never seen me out yeah, on the b-ball court. Yeah, I've seen you on the b-ball court. Next question. I, I like this question. This one's from Patreon. You can also Ooh. ask questions from patreoncom slash watcher and it's mm. from Laura Chisnow. What would you tell a teenage version of yourself if you could only tell them one thing? So imagine you have a time machine. You go back in time to your teenage self, and you have one sentence. What do you say? Uh, move to the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> You can avoid everything. Are we ta talking specifically in terms of like self-improvement or are we saying like, hey, stop this global disaster from occurring? That's too much responsibility for teenage Shane. I can't tell him like, hey, warn people about the... Or you could you could go the Biff route. You could tell him to make very smart investments and in all the things you know blow up. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe invest, invest in Snapchat or some bullshit. Or like Amazon or something like that. Snapchat? Yeah. Of all the companies, Snapchat? I'd probably say to myself, so my teenage self was a, a total brat, very self-centered. Um, don't stop peeing on people's clothes. That's a shout that's out not to the podcast. Say. Here's what you do. People are gonna be very confused because we bring up that reference in every possible. Well, we have to. As we yeah, should. As public, it's our moral public, responsibility. It's a, yeah. It's a PSA to the public. A PSA. PSA. <laughs> ah! I unplugged my headphones by clapping. I would say just be more generous. That'll make you happier, I think. Here comes another young question. This comes from uh, YouTube from Algebra Zebra. She says, do you think if you met your co-hosts when you were all kids, would you have gotten along? Yes. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I think I would have gotten along with both of you for different reasons. Steven, I would have gotten along from sports. Yeah, probably. Would have gotten along my, my guess would be on the b-ball courts. On Shane and I would have gotten along from the uh, movie making and obsession with film. I think I feel like we've been movie heads probably both from a young age. Were you uh, making short films with friends uh, using your like handy cams and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I remember yeah. being in like, I don't know, I was like in grade school making like stop motion things with clay. In fifth grade, I did make a comic book 
called Sausage Man that I would. You've uh, yes, just, you've talked about Sausage, Sausage Man. Man? That I, oh, that's right. No, and I would and I would sell them to the kids on the playground, and we were had a little distribution. Give me the pitch for Sausage Man. Uh, it's very similar to the plot of Sausage Party, actually. So it's that food <laughs> have uh, souls and minds, and Sausage Man would save uh, their food from being cooked. I think that does it for questions. We got a very exciting segment to move on to here. One that will hopefully not inflict too much pain upon us. Don't worry, I've been defrosted, Shane, from the chill zone. We're good. All right, now we're ready to sizzle, baby, because it's time to read some roasts. <laughs> submitted by you guys. We have not seen these, mm -hmm. um, so we're reading these for the first time. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they're not too brutal. I guess we'll find out. Can we cue up some dramatic right. music or something for this? I'll go first. Let's do it. All right, Roast Ryan. me, baby. <laughs> Shane and Ryan be like, we're actors, but have about two minutes of screen time in one episode of a show where they essentially play themselves. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. That's fair. That's fair. But what this person doesn't realize is that Shane and Ryan are characters themselves, and that my yes. name is actually Brian Cramblish and Shane Brad Pistachio. So, yeah, um, so we actually have maybe? a fair amount of screen time. It's just that yeah. our characters within characters were doing a meta project. Exactly. So there's levels here which is something that a lot of non-actors and non-performers, normies, don't understand. Yeah, the normies yeah. is what we call them. Why don't you nice take your uh, little normie pointer finger and move it on over to the mouse to click through our IMDb page and look at all the credits. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll go next. <laughs> this comes from Zed. The only reason Steven started Watcher with Shane and Ryan is so he can finally be the attractive member of a group. <laughs> Damn. What Wait, sorry, can you do about... that again? I, oh, I, was, I'm gonna look, what was, the, what was the tweet again? I was too busy laughing. <laughs> wow. That's, that's, not even a, that's not even a roast. Real, it's like no, a it's roast just, and a compliment at the same time. I don't know that's what. Strange. Who is that? Ro is that roasting me? Is that roasting Andrew it's, it's, and Adam? A, is that roasting I would say it's a, you and oh. like who's being roasted? I guess it's, it's, a, it's, it's roasting a, all of three of us. It's a unilateral roast. Yeah, it's yeah. saying, well, Stephen, you're you're fucking ugly. <laughs> And, no, but, but but luckily you've hooked up with the two ugliest pieces of shit ah, on the internet. Yes. Okay. You've hooked it. up with yeah. two uglier people. So it's still saying you're <laughs> ugly, but you are not the ugliest. So in a way it's a, it's, it's an equal opportunity roast. Also a pretty is, uh, vague roast though. I, I'm a big fan of the specificity of roast. It's a good roast. I give that roast a C minus. Okay. Yeah, I gotta say um, I'm disappointed thus far. Let's keep going here. Uh, we'll keep going. This is from Boneless Watermelon. I saw a whole thread of Shane looking cute and I audibly gagged. I love you, Shane, but you are not fan site material. <laughs> <laughs> I like That's funny. That's funny. I'm gonna I'm gonna just I hope my lower third in everything I'm ever in from now on says not, not fan, site. fan site material. <laughs> So that's fair. A very fair roast. That's Ryan, fair. what do you that's got? Fair. You're that's up fair. next. This comes from uh, at one uh, by girl. She says, Ryan hates the hot dog so much because Shane was able to write characters that had more personality in one episode than Ryan will ever have. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I like that one. That's good. You don't have personality. I like it. I think it's a funny roast. <laughs> All right, this one comes from Abby. And Abby says, I feel so bad for Steven's future children. Okay, where is this going? Because they would probably remain unnamed for two months or have a horrifying name because of Steven's inability to come up with a proper name on spot. Uh, it's pretty, it's a good reference to here's what you do. <laughs> I they would just have no names. <laughs> Your lack of imagination is so absolute. I, yeah. um, I have named Your some pretty bad characters is. on Here's What You Do. But hey, look, that's why um, the pregnancy period is nine months. I got time. There's something very um, uh, upsettingly clinical about Stephen Lim saying the pregnancy period is nine months. <laughs> Shame. Yeah, that's true. You're bad at names. Ryan yeah. comes up with some great names. Uh, Ryan does not come up with, okay, hold up. Ryan yes, he does. Up, his names are like Ryan Reynolds and Tony Stark. Those are good names. Those good names. Those yeah, are already names. made names. Unoriginal. No, I would name my I would name my kid Stephen Lim Bergara. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Stephen Lim, Deadpool, Bergara. <laughs> Stephen Lim is the first name. <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on here. This is from oh, a one by girl who you have already gotten one from. Shane probably puts ketchup on his tacos. I don't know. He just has that personality. Now that's <laughs> that's good. That's more accurate. I like that. I like that. Uh, yeah. I don't. For the record. Do you put it on your sushi? Yes. 
Yeah, I thought so. I put it on my sushi. Um, I put it on my pizza. Put it on my cereal. I love ketchup, you know? Mm. Uh, this comes from uh, Leia at BFU Boys. Uh, the Watcher Boys are so musically talented. Steven, uh, Shane can sing and write songs. Steven can play guitar and drums. Ryan. <laughs> I'll have you know I could hold a little bit of a tune. That's it. But uh, can I can't play guitar. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to play guitar. But other than that, that's all I could really do. Ryan, sing a song right now, but one that is not, you know, no rights, obviously. We can't do anything copywritten. So just make up a song and sing, you know, my name's Ryan and I can sing. Listen to me <laughs> sing. Something like that. All right, I'll do it in a high pitched voice. Here we go. Okay. My name's Ryan. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do uh, right. one more from Maybe you have a Shane point. here. All right, um, all right. This one comes from Jackie is scared. Being from the Midwest isn't a personality trait and doesn't make you interesting. Uh, I mean, yowza. That, I would honestly say though, I disagree because I think everybody's personality trait is like, well, I'm from here. People from New York are from New York. That's a big part of their personality. People from the West Coast are like, hey, eh, Cali baby. That's all they talk about. Yeah, everybody walks around from California walking across the street to Shaka and going, yeah, I can't Yeah, but I feel bro. like it informs your personality in a big way. If I had a dollar for every time a Midwesterner has brought in up weather or snow, I'd be oh. a millionaire by now. Especially oh, just I by being in proximity snow. to Steven, Shane He said the word Steven. snow and my brain just went, yeah, oh, there it is. baby, because I miss it. I miss when the snow. When you said snow. Whoa. Oh. We get it, you've been miserable. <laughs> I got one to close this out. This is from Spookscara. Uh, and I, I'm picking this one because it feels fairly accurate today. Shane dresses like a randomized sim. Uh, that one's good. <laughs> that's that one's that's good. the best one we've had all day. That's good. Yes. I feel like Ryan, you also do that, but in a more s sporty sort of way. Yeah, I'm like the sports setting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you're really getting into the tanks this year, huh? Dude, it's, I guess you're it's just warm, working baby. from home a lot, so yeah. It's it's warm. Tanks are comfortable. A lot of airflow going our, uh, across the chest and the nips. Makes sense. So, you know, um, <laughs> yeah. you, you want that. You want you want to you not want be sweaty that. when you're working from home. That's true. A pretty good a pretty good roundup of roasts there. I like um, them. Nothing nothing quite as you know. I don't feel like I've been cut to the bone, which is what I, I was want really you to cut me for. to my core. I want I want yeah. to walk away from this borderline harmed. We'll bring this back at some point, and we expect you guys to really, really decimate us, <laughs> tear <Yeah>. us apart. <laughs> I feel like we we told them to roast us, which is like a light roast, you know. So we should really tell them to decimate. Tear the meat from the bones like a pack of wild dogs. But other than that, uh, if you'd like to submit questions for future episodes, swing by at youtube.com slash watcher. Get us out. Uh, we are watcher, we are watcher, we are watcher. Patreon.com slash watcher. Facebook.com slash watcher. Other than that, any other announcements, boys? Just by the way, talk. by the way, thank you so much for getting us to 700K subscribers. We did it. We're 700K. Whoa, we drove all the way there. I mean, Steven, that's stuff. cocky, because yeah, as I'm filming feeling. this, we are not there. That's true, but we're at no. 696. We'll That'd be embarrassing if we didn't reach it. <laughs> It'll be devastating. <laughs> and if we didn't make the it, then roast. play a big sad, you know, trombone or something. There's the biggest roast of all. Sad trombone or ex exciting fanfare? Let's hear it. Wow! Oh, 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 we'll see. All right, see you next week, everybody. Adios.